Plus, I cough and get sort of tired. And a health scare lurking in your home. Toxic mold isn't just in older homes or school portables. It's everywhere, and it can be lethal. In severe uh, cases, it can even uh, you know, lead to bleeding of the lungs and cancer and sometimes death. We'll tell you about a new way to sniff out the enemy. Breathing in something toxic and not even knowing it. Well, we go after a silent killer lurking in your home. In part two of our week-long series, Spring Clean Your Life, we sniff out toxic mold with the help of an unlikely expert. Wei Chen reports. Frank Habercade is preparing for battle. And he's got an unlikely partner to help sniff out the enemy. Searching for mold. You hear about it in schools, but it can also be right in your own house. Maybe you've noticed some watermarks on the walls or rusty piping in the basement. These are all signs of the fungus that's growing inside, and not just in old houses. We've seen mold in brand new homes where people haven't even moved in yet, uh, or in uh, homes that have been lived in for just two or three years. Mold is more common in newer homes of less than 20 years because they're built in such a way that humidity is more likely to be trapped in the walls. And depending on the type of mold in your home, it can do some serious damage to your health if it's not removed. Some of the more toxigenic type molds that have mycotoxins uh, have uh, mycotoxins that are used in biological warfare. In severe uh, cases, it can even uh, you know, lead to bleeding of the lungs and cancer and sometimes death. Valerie just bought this house, but she's also extremely allergic to mold. I cough and get sort of tired. Her gut tells her to get her house checked out before she moves in. So she called in the Turner and Hooch of mold detection Frank is Canada's only microbial investigator, and Quincy, the only trained dog of its kind. If there was a problem, I wanted to be sure before I moved in. And don't think you're safe because you're allergy-free. That's just one symptom of living in a mold-infested home. So how do you know if you have a problem? As soon as you have water issues uh, from high relative humidity or con excessive condensation. But the dangerous thing about mold is that most of the time, you can't see it. Some of the telltale signs to look for is a cold or a cough that doesn't seem to go away, or strange unexplained skin rashes, respiratory or asthma attacks. Okay, so let's see what we'll find in Valerie's house. We'll proceed with a, a visual inspection to look for environmental issues. Hidden areas, especially behind dishwashers, we'll also look into uh, cabinets around windows to see if there's any active water uh, issues, uh, especially the bases of walls. What we do after the building uh, inspection is we'll run some of the uh, handheld equipment to uh, see what the air quality levels are like. Um, Right now I'm running a chemical monitor and I'm just going to start up a laser particle counter. A uh, laser particle counter will, uh, won't identify what's in the air, but it'll give us a raw count of dust. It could be dust, pollens, mold spores as well. Now this is the uh, thermal imaging camera. Uh, it's used to find hidden water issues in walls. When gadgets can't sniff out the mold, Quincy sticks her nose right into it. She alerts like a bomber drug dog does. She doesn't bark or scratch at it. She does a passive alert, which is she'll sit or lie down at the spot. Seek, seek, seek. And finally, Quincy sniffs out something big. Show me where, show me where Quincy, good girl. There might have been uh, you know, some water intrusion that may have uh, grown a little bit of mold underneath that uh, furnace there. Also the corner here, and you can actually see just a little bit of remnants of some mold growth on the stud and on the walls. What advice do you have on preventing mold in your house? You want to keep the water out. Uh, if there's roof leaks, basement leaks, you want to have that dealt with professionally right away and, clean and, and dry it out. Uh, keep an eye on the relative humidity, maybe use a dehumidifier in that case. If you're going to store something in the basement, put it in plastic bins. Uh, make sure you keep everything dry in the basement. A standard inspection is about $650, but can go as high as $3,000. It's a hefty price, but at least it gives homeowners like Valerie peace of mind. I know that Toronto's a very hot market right now. When you go into a competition, people don't even do inspections. This might be the wave of the future, make it part of a condition of an offer to do an environmental inspection.